Nearly all of us want our electrical wiring behind our instrument panels to look really nice and professional. Not many of us take the time to label our individual wires, but think how useful that could be years from now, whether you or someone else is working behind the panel, they have a chance to figure out what some of those wires are doing and where they go. Having professional labels on our individual wires would be wonderful if there was a quick, easy, and inexpensive way to do it while we're building. I think you'll like this. Let's take a look. This is a Dymo Label Manager 160. Now labeling machines are not new of course, but what I found interesting was that this model has a list price of about $35 and I bought it on Amazon for $10, $9.99. And I couldn't believe what a fine piece of equipment this is. Obviously it has a lot of functions. Its sole purpose in life is to create labels. Now, in the past, my experience has been that labels don't stick real good. And I did a little more research and found out that the trick is to make sure you get the industrial labels, not the labels that come with the machine. And uh, the ones here with the IND on them, it's a series of different types of labels made for industry. In other words, these labels were made to do exactly what we're trying to do stick labels onto cables and in fact these are made out of, out of vinyl you can also get them out of nylon but if you read the back it'll show you the applications they were designed for now I did some experimentation and I found two types of labels that work wonderful with our wires and of course I have my favor favorite but let's let's take a look at what I found the first type of label to demonstrate is actually a heat shrinkable tube that has your custom printing on its side. There are a number of sizes available. We are using the smallest at one quarter inch. After it is printed and removed from the labeling machine, you simply slip it over the wire and then use a heat gun if desired to shrink it tight. Here are some examples of installed labels using the heat shrink tube labels. This type of labeling does a wonderful job, but I have two personal objections. Number one, you must slip it on the wire prior to putting on your terminations. Otherwise, you can't get it on, obviously. This makes it impossible for labeling existing wiring. And number two, having to use a heat gun is a pain if your time is at a premium. Here's a close-up of the cartridge of heat shrink labels I used. There are all sorts of Dymo labeling machine models that use these cartridge styles as well as my inexpensive Label Manager 110. My personal choice is to use the flat labels with their self-adhesive. Here are examples of the labels before and after applying them to the wires. This system is much faster than using the heat shrink tubes and these can be applied on your wires after they are installed if you desire. You simply remove the backing and apply. Done. I am using the 3 8 inch labels on these wires here. The appearance of the heat shrink tube labels and the flat labels are nearly identical. In summary, for best results use one of the industrial Rhino label cartridges. There are many variations of Rhino labels to choose from. Of course, make sure your label machine is compatible with these cartridges, like the ones we have shown here, as not all cartridges fit all machines. 
the cartridge of the flat self-adhesive labels we have been showing cost about $15 for 18 feet of labels. The heat shrink tubing labels are considerably greater in cost. Of course there are other methods builders use for labeling wire. The one we showed here seems to have a good mix of affordability, speed of application, and good looking results. The additional effort needed to create and apply these labels while you're building will go a long way in making your electrical system more serviceable in the future, long after you have forgotten what all of those wires do.